The future of skyscrapers isn't just about going higher. It's about reimagining what's possible. In 2025, cities worldwide are unveiling record-breaking towers that don't just change skylines. They challenge expectations. Picture this. A 300-meter hotel floating above Dubai. A diamond-inspired residential giant. And a skyscraper with its own adrenaline zone. These aren't just buildings. They're next-level engineering marvels. In this video, we're diving into the most breathtaking skyscrapers of 2025. Let's take a look. Sail Dubai Marina. Dubai is already known for pushing the limits of architecture, and now it's about to break another record. The city is building the world's tallest hotel, Ciel Dubai Marina. This 82-story skyscraper isn't just about height, it's about redefining luxury. Designed by the NORR Group, CL will feature stunning landscape terraces running up its entire structure, seamlessly blending elegance with cutting-edge design. The architects envisioned a tower that feels both bold and refined. Its sleek, minimal shape gives it a futuristic look, while the glass observation deck will offer breathtaking panoramic views of Dubai Marina, the Palm Jumeirah, and the Arabian Gulf. Every detail has been carefully considered to create an experience unlike any other. SEAL will be part of the Vignette Collection, a group of distinctive hotels designed to provide unforgettable stays. Soaring 300 meters into the sky, it will house over 1,000 rooms, 12 stacked gardens, world-class restaurants, a gym, and four luxurious swimming pools including an infinity pool on the 76th floor with stunning ocean views. And at the very top, an observation deck will offer views that stretch for miles and miles. Burj Binghadi. Binghadi, a major name in Dubai real estate, has teamed up with Jacob & Company, the famous luxury jewelry brand, to build something truly extraordinary. Together, they're creating the Burj Binghadi Jacob & Company Residences, a skyscraper that's aiming to be the tallest residential building on the planet. Rising over 100 floors in Dubai's Business Bay, this tower will feature stunning two- and three-bedroom apartments designed with luxury in mind. While the exact height hasn't been revealed yet, the goal is to surpass New York's Central Park Tower, which currently holds the title of the world's tallest residential building. The Burj Binghadi, Jacob & Company residences isn't just about height, it's about style. Inspired by high-end jewelry, the tower will feature diamond-shaped spires on its exterior, giving it the look of a glittering crown. The design also includes long, narrow shapes that mimic the baguette-cut diamonds Jacob & Company is known for, making it a true architectural gem. Beyond its striking appearance, the building will offer top-tier amenities, including an infinity pool with breathtaking views of Dubai, a world-class spa, and a fully equipped gym. And for those who want the ultimate luxury experience, a dedicated concierge team will be on hand to handle everything, from childcare and bodyguard services to a personal chauffeur and even a private chef. Mohammed Binghadi, the CEO of Binghadi, shared that the tower's design was inspired by the intricate craftsmanship of Jacob & Company's high-end timepieces. They took the elegance and precision of those luxury clocks and brought them to life in the form of a skyscraper. It's a one-of-a-kind masterpiece that adds a whole new level of sophistication to Dubai's skyline. Burj Azizi. The Burj Azizi set to become the second tallest building in the world, is bringing something completely new to the Dubai skyline, an adrenaline zone high up in the clouds. This skyscraper is a huge deal right now, packed with jaw-dropping features, from the world's highest hotel room to a nightclub towering above the city. Now that it's complete and set to launch soon, Burj Azizi is on track to break multiple world records. First announced in early 2024, Details about its staggering height and jaw-dropping features are finally emerging. And one of the most exciting highlights, 
the world's highest nightclub. Perched on the 126th floor of this towering 725-meter skyscraper, it comes remarkably close to the Burj Khalifa's 828-meter height. While the current record holder for the highest nightclub remains unclear, the developers are confident that theirs will claim the top spot. This skyscraper isn't just tall. It's a $6 billion megaproject with 131 floors, making it the second tallest building in the world after the Burj Khalifa. Burj Azizi is designed for luxury, featuring everything from wellness centers and swimming pools to saunas, movie theaters, and convenience stores. Residents will also have access to exclusive lounges and even a playground for kids, making it more than just a place to live. It's a world of its own. The building will also feature a massive seven-story mall, a glamorous ballroom, and a beach club. On top of that, it's setting records left and right, with the highest hotel lobby in the world on the 11th floor, the highest observation deck on the 130th floor, the highest restaurant in Dubai on the 122nd floor, and the highest hotel room on the 118th floor. And just like any major Dubai landmark, it will be home to some seriously high-end restaurants and bars. Taikung Financial Center In the heart of Wuhan, a city known for its massive transportation networks, a futuristic new landmark is taking shape. The Taikung Financial Center, designed by the world-renowned Zaha Hadid architects, this isn't just a skyscraper, it's practically a city within a building. Offices, apartments, hotels, shops, restaurants, art spaces, everything needed for daily life will be under one roof, accommodating over 20,000 people a day. The design is inspired by Wuhan's natural landscape and its role as a sponge city, helping absorb rainwater to prevent flooding. The center consists of three interconnected towers, each facing a different key part of the city, one toward the urban skyline, another toward the river, and the third overlooking a new park. Between the towers, an open-air courtyard filled with shops and restaurants brings life to the base of the structure. A bridge connecting the towers adds rooftop gardens and public spaces, offering stunning views of the Yangtze River. Sustainability is a major focus. The building is aiming for LEED Gold certification, a top-tier green building standard. Special fins on the exterior provide shade, reducing the need for air conditioning, while natural light floods the interiors to cut down on energy use. Smart systems regulate heating, cooling, and ventilation to minimize carbon emissions. Water-saving fixtures and drought-resistant plants further enhance its eco-friendly design. The Taikang Financial Center isn't just a financial hub. It's setting a new standard for energy-efficient, environmentally conscious urban development. 270 Park Avenue. J.P. Morgan Chase is reshaping the New York City skyline with its new headquarters at 270 Park Avenue. Standing at 1,400 feet, this skyscraper isn't just about height. It's setting a new standard for sustainability. Fully electric, with no fossil fuels in sight, it's designed to be one of the greenest office buildings in the city. And it's built for the future. Inside, flexible workspaces and cutting-edge tech will create a dynamic, modern environment. The building will house up to 14,000 employees, four times more than the outdated 1950s tower it's replacing. But it's not just about what's inside. The redesign also brings wider sidewalks and a green-filled public plaza, making the area more open and inviting for everyone. The vision for 270 Park was to blend New York's rich architectural history with bold, modern design. Its unique structural system gives it a striking, almost floating appearance, opening up views across the block and adding to the city's iconic skyline. The Henderson Office Building In the heart of Hong Kong's skyline, a new landmark is taking shape. The Henderson Office Building, a breathtaking 36-story skyscraper designed by the legendary Zaha Hadid, 
Its curvy glass facade, inspired by the Hong Kong orchid, sets it apart from the city's dense cluster of high-rises. Each of its 4,000 glass panels has a unique curve, creating an organic, flowing structure that looks almost like overlapping flower petals. The land it stands on made headlines in 2017 as the most expensive property in the world, costing an astonishing 764,000 pounds per square meter. Originally set for completion in 2023, the project has taken a bit longer, but much of the building is now visible, showcasing its signature design. What makes the Henderson even more remarkable is how it blends into the city. It's elevated above the ground, seamlessly connecting to Hong Kong's elevated walkways, two subway stations, and the lush Chater Garden. The design embraces nature, featuring outdoor balconies, a large indoor garden, and even a sky garden with a running track. Imagine jogging with a view of Victoria Harbor. Inside, the office spaces are open and airy, with minimal columns and massive windows. But despite its appeal, only half of the space has been rented so far. Luxury watchmaker Audemars Piguet and auction house Christie's are among the tenants, but Hong Kong's office market is struggling. Right now, a record-breaking 13 million square feet of office space sits empty, a sign of bigger challenges ahead. The China Merchants Bank Headquarters Rising high above Shenzhen's skyline, the China Merchants Bank Headquarters has officially topped out at an impressive 388 meters. Designed by the renowned architecture firm Foster Plus Partners, this skyscraper is now in the final stages of construction, with its striking steel and glass exterior taking shape. The design features a unique ribbed pattern, and its glass panels are gradually coming together, revealing the tower's sleek, modern aesthetic. One of the most eye-catching elements is the stepped terraces at the top, bringing greenery into the vertical space. While one side of the building maintains a clean, minimalist look, the other features curved geometric sections inspired by traditional Chinese paper folding. Gran Brooker, the head of the design studio, explains that these curves aren't just for style. They're meant to give breathtaking views of Shenzhen Bay. Beyond its looks, the building is also designed for efficiency. Foster Plus Partners used advanced computer modeling to optimize natural light and shade, reducing the need for air conditioning. The interior will feature double-height atriums and open terraces, giving employees a place to relax. But this headquarters is just one piece of a much larger transformation in Shenzhen Bay. A public park will connect to the skyscraper via a central walkway, flanked by lively plazas filled with shops and restaurants. It's set to become a vibrant new destination in the city. Downtown One Designed by the Dutch firm MVRDV, this 140-meter tower isn't just tall, it's a statement. The most eye-catching feature? A massive pixelated map of Albania embedded in its facade. Every protruding section represents a town or village, meaning residents might just spot their hometown on the side of the building. Located on Bajram Kuri Boulevard, right across from Skanderbeg Square, Downtown One will be the tallest structure in Albania surpassing the 91-meter Rajvi residence. Inside, it's a mix of living and working spaces, 18 floors of offices, another 18 for apartments, and a ground floor packed with shops and restaurants. In total, it's a staggering 77,000 square meters of space. The design is bold and modern, featuring a grid-like pattern of rectangular windows separated by thick frames. Some sections will have outdoor terraces, adding a touch of greenery to the urban high-rise. Architect Winnie Moss envisions it as a vertical village where residents and workers can easily connect. At street level, a park and playground will bring a lively atmosphere with underground parking for convenience. If all goes to plan, Downtown One will be complete by 2025. One Bangkok Expected to be completed in 2025, this ambitious project will feature a collection of soaring skyscrapers, seamlessly blended with lush green spaces. It's designed to be more than just buildings. 
It's a community where around 60,000 people will live, work, and gather. Skidmore, Owings, and Merrill, SOM's vision is all about connection. Open-air terraces, gardens, and a striking sky garden will create a natural flow between indoor and outdoor spaces. Sustainability is at the heart of the design. One of the towers will even be wrapped in greenery. Sitting next to Lumpini Park, a sprawling 57-hectare green oasis founded by King Rama VI in the 1920s, one Bangkok draws inspiration from its historic surroundings while embracing cutting-edge eco-friendly technology. In fact, it's Thailand's first development aiming for Platinum LEED certification, the highest standard in sustainable building. Designed with Bangkok's hot, humid climate in mind, the district will use advanced systems to manage energy and water efficiently, including rainwater collection to help replenish groundwater. Developed by TCC Assets and Fraser Centerpoint, One Bangkok isn't just a new district. It's the largest private development project in Thailand's history. The CMG Qianhai Global Trade Center The CMG Qianhai Global Trade Center just broke ground and it's about to flip the script on the Qianhai Business District. Designed by OMA, this isn't just another towering glass box. It's a self-contained micro-city packed with offices, retail spaces, and public areas built to keep the energy flowing. Qianhai is growing fast, but let's be real. The skyline is starting to look a little too uniform, with rows of similar high-rises blending together. OMA is here to change that. Their design shakes things up with two towers that cascade down the site, merging into the surrounding cityscape and the Silk Road Corridor Park. But the real head-turners? A massive sky bridge stretching between the towers and a cube-shaped structure that appears to float above the base, strategically placed at the intersection of major roads, metro lines, and a bus terminal. This project is all about connection. And that sky bridge, it's not just a way to get from one tower to the other. It's a public space with gardens, art, and gathering spots offering a direct view of Qianhai Bay and the Nanshan Mountains. Then there's the hovering cube, serving as a bold visual link to the Silk Road and reinforcing the area's status in global trade. With rooftop terraces bringing greenery to new heights, this development is set to be a defining symbol of Qianhai's future. Did we miss any that should have made the list? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And while you're here, don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button for more content like this.